Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be going over the different steps it takes to plan a photo shoot for your brand because if you don't know already, I am rebranding my personal brand, which is Destiny Adams, the Traveling Hair Boss. So I'm going to be adding the color green to all of my marketing materials, my branding, so I'm going to be doing a new photo shoot and I'm going to walk you through step by step of how I'm planning my photo shoot, how I'm staying organized, my budget, the different props. So yeah, go ahead and stay tuned. The first thing you want to take a look at when you're planning your photo shoot for your brand is that what is the purpose of the shoot? There are different things you can do photo shoots for. Like it could be for you need new images for your social media. You're trying to plan a new website. You're working on new marketing materials or you have a big sale or some promo coming up and you want to do a photo shoot for that. Or you're launching a new product and you need professional photos for that as well. The second so, thing you need to take into account is your theme and creative direction. So as we talked about how my photo shoot is going to be a rebrand for my website. So the theme for mine is money green. The type of things that I'm going to have in my website is that I got a money gun. Which the money gun is just going to be for me to just do something cute. Blowing some money. Because the reason that I'm adding green to my brand is because... One with the name the traveling hair boss. So with travel, I added green because you think of like land, you think of trees, you think of nature, and that's green. And then for a boss, you think of money, money is green. So that's why I decided to add green. And the theme for my photo shoot is gonna put all of that together. Walking you through step by step of my creative direction process. I'm gonna, I need professional photos. So when I do my protractable banner, I need an image for that. So that's when I'm going out doing just doing different events i need just a professional photo to show like put destiny adams to travel hair boss what i do just something to pretty much introduce me so for that i just need something let's say i'm gonna wear a green dress i'm gonna have just my hair done normal just my normal business look how i want to look that's gonna incorporate my brand colors i already mentioned i have the money gun which i'm gonna tie that into the different type of products that i create that can help people make money so that's where the money gun comes in at and then I also have a, which I'll upload a picture of it. It's like a computer, it's like a green crocodile laptop cover. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So I have that as one of my props. So I'm going to use that because I'm going to be sitting down with my laptop cover open. And you know, I got to have the green for the branding. That's going to be just to show like I am a content creator, typically online. So that's how that portion is going to tie into everything. And then the last thing that I have for my creative direction is I'm going to have a phone. Because as you know, I'm going to be adding one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions back on my website. So I have to do a picture with the phone so I can have that on the website to go along with that different product. So when you do your creative director, you want to think about every single thing that you're going to have on your website or if you're doing your marketing materials you want to try and picture every single thing that you're going to need the type of images that you want to put out the type of poses that you need to do and just how you're going to create everything and make it all come together as one i know one thing that i see a lot of people doing is different pinterest boards and with the pinterest boards you'll be able to see what other people have done with their photo shoots so it can give you a good idea of how you're going to be able to put stuff together how you want to pose the different type of outfits you want to get how the different colors are going to come together which I haven't made a Pinterest mood board for this photo shoot but I think I might end up doing one and if I do I'm going to insert it in this video so you guys can see what I come up with and then when I do a follow-up video just showing you the photo shoot portion itself I'm going to insert those images so you guys can see what I'm talking about exactly of how they both coincide with each other. The third thing you need to do is make sure you find a good photographer that fits within the style that you want your photo shoot to be in. So there are several different types of photography styles you can do. A lot of people have been doing a different lifestyle shoots where they'll pretty much catch you live in action doing something. You see the girls, let's say walking down the street, you'll see people at the coffee shops with their laptops up. Like, so that is a lifestyle shoot. 
So for me, I'm doing an in-studio shoot where you typically just have the plain, it'll be a plain background, which my colors are going to be black, white, and green. So you'll see those different black rounds. I want my editor to be able to switch up the different backgrounds and test the different colors. So that's the type of shoot that I'm aiming for. And another thing with photography, you want to pay close attention to your photographer's editing style. So I like my photos to have the clean polish, not super unreal, but I want you to be able to know that there are professional photos, they're magazine ready. And then you have other photographers who are on, more on the natural side where you get some very good candid shots. And if you're not one of those people who likes the glitz and glam of everything, like you can go with one of those type of photographers. But I'm just going to throw that out there. Everything is your preference. However you want your brand to look, and that's completely up to you. But I like mine to have the polished magazine look. A little bit on the perfect side, but not too much. So that's what I look for in my photographers. The fourth thing you want to take into account is your budget. So everyone's budget is different. One thing I always do when I plan my photo shoots is I create the budget. I go on the different pages for the photographers. I look up my different wardrobe. I look up the props. I pretty much get a good idea of how much everything is going to cost. And from there, I start mapping out, okay, what can I do now to start making this money so I can be able to afford the type of either photography clothes whatever I want to do I want to make sure I can be able to afford everything that I want so you can look at it two ways create a plan to how you're going to start making the money or you can have money sitting aside for it that's already that you've already made from your brand and then you spend that money on it and, and then you start taking into account okay how am I going to make this money back so I use both of those methods but for this photo shoot in particular I already have the money set aside I have the plan of how I'm going to make the money back which is going to be through my YouTube channel and then also the digital products that I'm going to be creating so that's how I'm going to make the money back from the photo shoot and spending all this money on all this fancy stuff but it's going to be all worth it in the end because you're going to know it's a big difference so the last thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you coordinate everything perfectly so that means making sure especially for my ladies if you have to get your hair done the same day you want to give yourself enough time your makeup done you want to give yourself enough time and then also enough time at the photo shoot to either do outfit changes if you're super fancy, hair changes. Like if you're like me, you might want to change your wig a little bit. Might want to switch your lip color. So you want to make sure you coordinate that time appropriately. Because time management for a photo shoot is very important. Sometimes it can take all day. Sometimes it can take just a couple hours. And another thing when it comes to booking your photo shoots is you want to make sure you pick a hairstylist and a makeup artist that values your time. Like there are some hairstylists and makeup artists who will have you sitting in the shop for hours at a time. So you want to try and stay clear away from those type of people. Or if you have all day go for it because I've had some where it's pretty much taken all day because I'm from Grand Rapids Michigan where I would travel down to Detroit which is about a two and a half hour drive and it would like some of my photo shoots in the past have turned out have turned into like four day processes especially when it comes to hair photo shoots but since this one is just a simple one and I'm going to be doing my own hair, I'll be switching out my own looks and then I'm going to have my makeup artist which she normally gets me out within an hour and then it's her studio is 20 minutes away from the photography studio and he'll probably get me out within an hour. So this photo shoot should be very simple and I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes as soon as I'm done with them. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching it this far. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Drop any comments that you have in the comment section below or any questions. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're following me on all my social media channels. It's I'm Destiny Adams on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest, pretty much everything. Twitter. Hey, thank you so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for the next video.